1984. Apple have just launched the Macintosh computer. Mark Zuckerberg was born, and he invented Facebook. And the Ghostbusters have just been unveiled to the world. And over in Japan, Shimano have revolutionized how we change gear. This is the first iteration of SIS, which stands for Shimano's index system. So if you've got gears on your bike and they're Shimano, well then chances are you have SIS. Heralded as a high speed and accurate shifting technology that removed the guesswork that was accompanied with traditional friction shifters. This is a 1988 Jatan 531 bike fitted with Shimano Dura's 7401 group set. We've got an absolutely tiny seven speed cassette on the back of the bike and it's fitted with a 3953 tooth chain set. When spin to win wasn't exactly something pro riders did back in the day, um, but it is responsible for giving Shimano their first ever Grand Tour victory in the Giro d'Italia, a race that was previously dominated by Italian group sets. In road racing, the winning margin can come down to hundreds, if not thousands of a second. And that's something we've seen a number of times in the 2021 race season. And shifting speed was one of the key advantages of the SIS system, allowing riders to change gear 0.419 seconds faster than what was possible with a traditional friction shifter. In addition to that, gear changes were just a far more precise and controlled affair. So what exactly is the Shimano index system? Well, it's a series of set positions within our shift lever here that directly relate to the spacing of the gears or sprockets at the rear of our bike. This allows the rider to easily and accurately change up or down one gear at the rear of their bike, or even to perform multiple gear shifts at once. All that's required at the time of setup is to ensure that these set positions within the lever itself directly relate to the range of movement at the rear derailleur and that those set positions are correlated with the sprockets at the rear of your bike. SIS is responsible for that distinctive click that you not only hear but that you also feel every time you change gear, giving you the confidence and reassurance that you've got precisely the gear that you wanted each and every time. And still up to present day, SIS is responsible for ensuring that you have those gears on all of its current group sets. Doesn't matter whether you ride for fun or for fitness, or if you're commuting or competing, SIS is there to make sure you've got the correct gear every single time. It wasn't plain sailing for Shimano back in the 70s and 80s though, because us cyclists are a fussy bunch, and as such, we're reluctant to change. Before 1984 and the invention of SIS, Shimano were certainly not the market leaders we recognize them as today. In 1973, they launched Durace Gen 1, followed by Durace EX 7200 in 1978, and further updated in 1980 with Durace AX 7300. However, these group sets were not popular with European racers, and as such, Shimano struggled to gain momentum against their Italian rivals. It was 1984 when Shimano grabbed racers' attention, though, with their 7400 SIS group set. Its sleek design and industry-leading index system attracted the best riders in the world, a huge turning point for Shimano and the cycling world as well. Gone were days of the mist shifts and continual tweaks from friction shifters. At critical moments with the victory hanging in the balance, riders could put their faith in SIS delivering them efficient and quick gear changes to ensure a victory and transform racing in front of our very eyes. Like all successful technologies, Shimano's index system is all about making life simple for us, the riders. Gear changing is now a simple and controlled process. And this is something that Shimano have got right time and time again by using technology that's quite complicated or high tech, but in terms of the user experience, it remains as simple as it's ever been.
For many of us, we take index gears for granted, but we would get a shock if we went back to the days of friction shifters, having to continually refine and fine tune our gear changes, whilst not only trying to make sure we've got the gear that we want, but also trying to concentrate on riding or racing our bikes. It seems a whole world apart from the standards and levels that we expect by gears today. In the second half of the 1980s, riders capitalised on the advantages of the SIS system. But it wasn't until 1990 when Shimano transferred this index technology from our down tube shifters up onto the handlebars on our bikes in what we know today as the STI lever, which stands for Shimano Total Integration. And for a closer look at that, well, you need to stay tuned because we've got an in-depth video taking a look at STI shifters well, coming out soon. At a time when technology is advancing at a blistering rate, it does highlight just how much of an iconic technology the Shimano Index system not only was, but still is. Hope you enjoyed taking a closer look at the Shimano Index system. I know I certainly have, but why not let me know your thoughts on this in the comments section down below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to GCN Tech and hit the bell icon to be notified when we release the other videos detailing more iconic Shimano technology.